how to make my all-time favorite recipe, apple crumble. This recipe takes about 25 minutes to finish. It's super easy, and we're gonna start with the first step, which is peeling and cutting our apples. I'm just gonna demonstrate real quick how to peel an apple. Of course you need a peeler. You're just gonna start from the bottom, and you'll apply pressure, and go like that. Just light pressure, you don't need to cut into the apple really. You just have to do um, enough pressure to skin the top of it. So I'm just gonna demonstrate cutting. I'm just gonna cut it in half. And they're gonna take one of the halves, place it face down, and cut it in half again. And then you're just gonna cut the core out because you don't want the seeds. And just cut it in half again. And just do this to all of your apples. Cut your apples you're going to want to make sure to preheat the oven so on mine you just press bake and then you're going to want to set it to 350 and then start and it'll no notify you when it reaches that so now we're going to mix our sugar and our cinnamon into our apples and you're just going to need two tablespoons of white sugar and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and you're just going to pour it in it doesn't have to be even it's just kind of like whatever because you're going to end up mixing them together anyways. So our next step is putting our apples into our baking pan. Um, so it's pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna wanna make sure that you put them in evenly. So you can kinda just get crazy and put them all in there. Um, but you wanna make sure that they're evenly distributed because a lot of mistake, the mistake that a lot of people make is they don't evenly distribute them and then the apples are kind of like cooked unevenly and it's kind of gross. So make sure um, that they're distributed evenly and that there's no like clear spots. And then next we're gonna go on to making our topping and you're just gonna take a large mixing bowl and you're gonna take one cup of brown sugar and a half a cup of butter and you're just gonna mix that. In the bowl. And, this butter. and I'm just going to take the spoon that I used earlier. It just has cinnamon on it, so it's really no big deal. And you're just going to mix that. Until it's well combined. Kind of like a mushy texture. And then once it looks a little crumbly, well combined, there's no like pockets of butter. You're gonna grab your one teaspoon of cinnamon and you're just gonna put that in. And then you're also gonna grab um, one teaspoon of vanilla. Now this is 100% optional. This is kind of just something I do personally whenever I bake. It just kind of adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit of taste. My mom would just always, whenever we were baking, she would just add like a little bit extra vanilla and it just tasted really good as opposed to when you didn't, you just put the normal amount of vanilla. So this is just my own personal preference. There's absolutely no vanilla in this recipe at all, but I add it just for my own personal taste. So you're gonna put in that one teaspoon of vanilla if you choose to, and then you're just gonna mix that together. Make sure to get all of it, obviously. So it's well combined. You don't have any pockets of vanilla. And one thing I do is you can kind of just like, you don't have to necessarily, necessarily mix. You can kind of just like push down and it'll just evenly distribute everything. And then next, you're gonna take your flour first. Um, you wanna make sure to add your flour first before your oats, um, because if you add the oats first, it's like adding, you're adding texture first, and then the texture will mess up the distribution of the flour. Like you have to make sure the flours will combine with everything, and then you can add the texture. You can add it all in at once. Some recipes call for like parts, but this one is just a crumble, so it's not like there's really no science involved, so you can kind of just add everything at once. So yeah, it's gonna take a little bit just to make sure, and you, as you can see, it's kind of starting to crumble now, so it'll be like easy to like take it with your hands and just kind of like mush it around, throw it on top of the apples and stuff. Perfect. And this was um, 3 fourths cup of flour. And then you're gonna take three fourths cup of oats and then you're gonna put that on top too. And the oats are really easy because you already have your mixture. You just kind of mix it like that. 
And you can do the same like pushing down technique that I did before, like kind of just like going like this with your spoon and it'll kind of like, well, help everything combine um, a lot better. And then you're just gonna take your crumble on top like this and you can kind of distribute it however you want. You can grab handfuls, you can kind of just pour it on and then spread it out. But the same thing with the apples with the crumble, you wanna make sure that everything is 100% evenly distributed because if it's not, it will have dry spots and dry areas and that's also not very good. I mean, it's not gonna taste like bad because it's sugar, but <laughs> it's also not gonna taste I'm just doing this with my hands, my hands are clean, I promise. Um, yeah, and then after your oven is finished preheated, uh, preheating, you're just gonna pop this in the oven.